<laughs> hey, this is Marjorie, and uh, it is raining, and hallelujah, I love rain. After living in deserts for 25 years, I totally love rain. So I'm downstairs in the house that I'm, it's kind of a temporary location for me, and if you don't understand why, go back and watch the video on the move from hell. It literally was, and um, you might see behind me here, this, a lot of the Puerto Rican houses, they have stuff up, your house is upstairs, and then downstairs is kind of this... Uh, you know, garage, I'm using it as a storage area, and you can see <laughs> you know, all my stuff stored up here. So, um, yeah, so the reason I'm so excited about rain is I really need a good source of water. Now, the of course, the house has running water, and I'm very, very grateful to, um, you know, the municipality, right, that you can turn a faucet and get water 24-7, it comes out, it's, you know, it's not going to hurt you or kill you. Uh, but it really isn't good water. And your body is 75% water. You need good water. But I, I will say it's a blessing. Um, gosh, maybe it was a decade ago or so, I interviewed uh, Fernando Aguirre, the, the guy who lived through the collapse uh, during Argentina, Ar Argentina's collapse. And uh, he was talking about his, his brother was coming to visit him um, from Spain. And the first thing that happened to the brother is, is he got sick. And uh, because there was stuff in the water. So as things deteriorate, you know, the municipality doesn't focus on, on maintenance like they used to. And the water systems and the roads and all this stuff just starts to slowly, slowly decline. And they were seeing more and more outbreaks of disease, all kinds of disease, waterborne stuff, stuff that you wouldn't expect to see in Buenos Aires. Like, uh, you know, that's... That, that was that is a beautiful city. I've been there, and, and you know, I am modern. So anyway, to see that happening was, or to hear of that happening was, was a little distressful. Anyway, water is so important. Even with the current fairly good water systems that we have, you still really need water, and rainwater is fantastic. Uh, so I looked all around the house, the outside of the house, to um, see if I could <laughs> get some you know, gutter or something like that. But the roof here, it's almost impossible. I think you need a helicopter to get access to this roof, honestly. It, it's, uh, I had some friends look at it and they're even good climbers and they were, no, nope, that's a little too dangerous. Uh, and then the, the guttering, however they get the water off the roof, I think it just goes through like these, they've got it set up where it goes through these concrete pillars down directly into the, to the ground or the sewer system, like, hang. So I need good clean water. So I'm going to show you how I made a rainwater collection system in less than five minutes. And uh, I'm going to show it to you. It's right, right here. So here's one. Just got some roof panels going into that little gorilla cart. I love that gorilla cart. Ooh, I'm going to do a video on the gorilla cart next. I just love that thing. And, um, and then here, uh, I just got a, you know, some tubs. I'm going to go out in the rain a little bit. I'm going to try and protect my camera so you can see. Like, oh my god, that one's almost full. And, uh, oh shit, I need to get the plug on that bigger one. <laughs> it's going to start draining out. <laughs> but there you go. So what will I do with that water? Um, yeah, uh, just a Berkey filter. And it's, it's really fabulous. Your body, 75% water. You've got to have clean water. It makes a huge difference in your life. I'll also get water for the rabbits, and it just upgrades everything. And I'm sure you've noticed in your garden, when you, when you get a good rain, it's incredible, like, how much your, your garden just thrives. So um, rainwater is amazing. And uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop off there, just, just show you, like, not even five minutes, and I, and I made this uh, rainwater collection system. You can do the same. Very simple. So... Remember, this moment is wonderful. It really is, no matter what your situation, where you are, or what you're doing. And I am going to leave you with a moment of cuteness from um, Meet You. Psst, psst. Oh, no, she's not going to do anything. You guys, oh my God, they're such great athletes. Like, they're just so talented. Let's see what they're climbing on next. Oh yeah, here they go. Look at that. Wow. Boy, if I could climb like that, I'd be amazing.
Okay, see you guys tomorrow.